Hey Dan here, welcome back to another video. I just want to take you through on a real client account how I rank in multiple towns for different services. So these are keywords like, uh, in this example right here, HVAC, Canada, HVAC, Manatic, HVAC, Barhaven, uh, the sort of keywords people look for when they're looking for a local company to help them with uh, heating, air conditioning, all those sort of different things. This works with all service providers, so I do this for, um, conservatory installation companies, kitchen designers, even local shops that don't have a presence in those places. You can build these pages out. It's not that far. People travel down, especially if you're offering like some sort of um, some sort of like premium service almost, like a uh, luxury service that people will travel even if you ain't in their local town when they're looking. Uh, but definitely for stuff like plumbers, scaffolders, these are all the industries that I do this with on a, on a sort of daily or weekly basis. Um, but I just want to show you how to do this. So. This is a, a, a real client of mine, um, and basically what you need to do is, to rank for these keywords, you have to build out a page targeting that exact keyword. So there's gonna be a variation of different ones, but to save time in this video, we won't go through keyword research. I've already done it, and I can tell you people look for furnace servicing, furnace repairs, and furnace installation. Um, so what you actually do is you create three different pages. So let me just pull those up how I'd do it. Okay, so let's look at it like this. So if I go back to my service area page, let's use Greeley as the example. So we want to have a location page that targets HVAC Greeley. Okay, and then as a child of that, we want to have a page that targets all those different services that we've got. So there's a lot of pages to be built out here. So we want to have a page that targets furnace servicing in Greeley. Okay, and then we want to have a page that targets furnace repairs in Greeley. And we really want to go through and build each one of these out. And the reason is, is because if you look in the keyword research tools for this, so I've got keywords everywhere on here. Um, G-R-E-E-L-Y. Yeah, so it's spelled right. And this is saying there'll be no searches a month right but watch what happens if I put in here just furnace servicing without any location and then we scroll down have a look at the companies that come up so I guess furnace is more of an American Canadian type term um, let's do this search plumbing companies so bear in mind I've not put any location in here I've got an Ottawa ad that's because I've been searching in that area that's why they're coming up but as we go down so ignore these because these are obviously looking at local look at the organic we've got brightening sea that's the town i live in and then we've got clacton that's nine miles from here so essex that's the county i'm in it brings up look brightening sea again brightening sea is a very small town okay so google is showing local results even though i never put brightening sea in here it's showing these brightening sea ones there that's why we want to build out these pages for Greeley. um individually to target these because people in Greeley they might not search furnace repairs Greeley they might just search furnace repairs but when they do that they'll get one of these come up like this so I never typed in plumber in brightness right that's the point I'm making here so we want to build out a page for each one of these um, so installation as well get rid of that where's the clear thingy format so we'd want to build out a page for each of these and then we'd also want to do the same thing with the air conditioning exactly the same thing servicing repairs installation we'd want to build out the exact same thing as an additional free now all of those would be children of this one here right if that makes sense so this is our main page, the Greeley page, and from that page, we internally link to all of the children here. So forget about the menu structure. This isn't necessarily menu, but it's the URL structure, right? So here's a page that I built out, a, a, uh, a, a location page for Ottawa. No, it isn't, sorry. Uh, let me grab one. Mm, I, here we go. So this is a location page I built out. Now, in here we want to link to all of the different places like here like air conditioning installation we want to actually link these through to the individual ones what that does is it creates a bunch of topical relevancy around these towns right 
this isn't just small businesses doing this um, you know self-employed people massive companies do this Everest do this um, there's a major plumbing company that do this I can't remember the name now but a lot of them do because this is a really good way of advertising really cheap I built these pages here uh, must have been about four years ago five years ago they're still bringing in leads today and I haven't touched them uh, I would actually do things different and that's what this video is going to teach you so um, so let's jump in right so the first one we know we've got to build is the HVAC Greeley page because the URL of this page has got to be um, basically forward slash Greeley right so it'd be like this and then the URL of this page has got to be a child of that so it'd be like this and then furnace repairs right because we've got Greeley as the parent here and then the furnace repairs here so it's creating all of this relevancy to this town Greeley so I'm going to actually put together one of these pages and I'm going to let you watch over the shoulder while I do it and teach you how I do the content as well. I'm going to stop the video now to put together some content but something I want to show that I think might be helpful here is you can either outsource the content writing which is what a lot of people do. I personally write it myself because I feel like I can actually get things done quicker than I can outsourcing this and then having to check the whole thing. Um, but what you can do is if you've got Google Docs open in Chrome and you go to tools and then voice typing you can click on this right here and this will actually convert the words you're saying into text as you can see on the screen right now it's pretty accurate but it will get some things wrong so you will have to double check it and also you'll have to make sure that you're pronouncing things clearly I think it's helped me get rid of my accent a little bit um, so yeah this is another really good tool and I'll be using this to create the content but I thought it'd be worth sharing because it can speed things up for you okay I'm back so I've just finished writing out this content and I want to go through and explain some of the different things I've done here and then you know show you how you could do it so um, this content isn't anything amazing bear in mind most people aren't really going to read this and we want to make sure we get as many pages built as we possibly can and then we can go back through and increase the quality afterwards this is about volume and it's about getting traffic so we wouldn't have got this traffic if we didn't have the page so we want to get the page there so this is all just off the top of my head I've banged this together and this is what I've come up with so what we want to do I've wrote all this out in the Google Doc so I can do the uh, the voice to text thing and I've basically got a bit of content here then I've got a, a get quote button then I've got HVAC services include and I just call out all the different things this is what we're going to internally link uh, from and then I've just included a different a few different other things that he does as well uh, and then I've just got some content here where I'm going to be linking out to Google My Business and another testimonials page on the site. And then uh, I've got another form of call to action and then I've actually got some text about the call to action. This stuff's really easy to rewrite and make it unique so that's why I like writing a bit about this. Uh, you want to make sure this is about 300 words. As I say this is all completely unique. The only part that isn't is this stuff right here. So I grabbed this from this page where I've done this before. And basically I got rid of this content here for speed so I can get this video done today and what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to reorder these so if I, I obviously I took Kanata off and I don't think we need to put Greeley in all of these but if I take those three out of there and I put these three at the top this is now not completely duplicate content to what it was before right so I've done that and now let's just put this in the page so I'll show you how that works so I've got this page right here um, that was putting together. I'm going to delete all of this stuff out of here. So this is what I was doing earlier. So I'm just going to talk you through. So I've got the title as HVAC Greeley Ontario. The ON helps with the relevancy so Google knows what we're doing. Heating and air conditioning in Greeley. This is another keyword. So we want to go ahead and put that in there too. That's our H1 tag and our title tag right there. If you look when you go to um, here it will cut off some of it when it actually appears in Google but don't worry about that Google can still index anything that's cut off so that's fine so I'm now going to go ahead and paste this content in here so that's great and now what I want to do is I want to actually make this text a little bit bigger I just find this looks cool when you do it and I want to make this HVAC company in Greeley and I want to make this an internal link to the home page so you can do that with just a forward slash or you could copy that um, this really helps you get that relevancy I keep talking about for these local towns so you want to put that there um, don't worry about any of the rest of this then we've got get a quote so we want to put a get a quote button on this site I've had this um, I made this button like this so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this right here and edit this as HTML and paste that in let's 
so I'm going to put that like that. I'm going to leave these for now because I haven't built these pages out and then when we go down this is fine this is all fine so now what I want to do is um, link where I've got here I'm going to internally link this through to my testimonials page that I've got the reason for this is this can help the conversion rate if we do actually get people on this page we want to make sure they convert so I can link there but then also the Google and I'll explain why in a second so let me just pull that up So if we visit where we've got the reviews, we can then copy this URL. And then when we go back to the page, which is right here, we can make this a link. And then we say open in new tab. Now, the reason we want to do this is because whenever somebody searches for the brand name in the Google My Business, interacts with this Google My Business listing, uh, we get a, uh, it will push us up in the maps. So we definitely want to be getting people on the Google My Business listing. So that's going to help us with our GMB stuff too. So that's why we want to link to that and then also helps with the conversion rate too. So uh, I keep losing this blooming page here. Uh, so that's that. That's fine as is. And then that's okay. And I've got a button that automatically generates for that there too. So now if we go ahead and click update on this, I'll just show you the URL structure again. Uh, if we go to the page. So this is the content I just put together on the page. So I've made it a child of service area and the URL is just Greeley and then with that I've got HVAC Greeley, Ontario, blah 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 and I've got the content here. This links through to here. Obviously this is crushing on there but don't worry too much about that. I'll sort that in a moment. Um, and then this is longer than that as well. So that's that and then as you notice I've got this call to action above the fold right here. So this is going to help the conversion rate. We've got another one right here. As you come down here we've got this phone number call to action. And then at the bottom we've got this one that does the pop-up form. So all's looking good there. Now what we need to do is we need to actually add an image to this page to target this HVAC Greeley as well. And a nice little trick is you can actually just copy the image you've got, so from another page, and then you, what you want to actually do is put the text on there as well because Google can read the text on these. So just give me a second to pull one up. Let's have a look. Um, I guess I could use this big one here. So if I just grab that image out of there, you'll hopefully have had, it's a little bit more difficult to get hold of these in Chrome, you'll have hopefully had these sent to you by the client. Give me a second so I can figure out how to get it. There we go, finally figured it out. So now I've got this and I want to make it the same size as like this image here for example. So if I take this into Photoshop, you could also do this in Canva if you wanted to. Uh, when you know your image dimensions. In all honesty, it doesn't really matter if you get the dimensions a little bit wrong. But So that's that size there. And now if I go back to wherever the image has gone, copy that, paste that in there, and make this a bit smaller, like this. And actually, so let's move him up there. And then if we put, we can go ahead and now actually just put a thing like we got here, HVAC services in Canal. We can just go ahead and do that. So if I grab that red, go up to there. Okay, cool. So now we want to actually save this out. So we want to call the image this as well. And I'll just save this. I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so I've just uploaded that. And what we want to do is we want to put the alt text as that as well. And we want to put that in at the top there. So usually, you know, I always talk about having things, uh, make sure you're not pushing things down below the scroll. The thing is, on this page, what we really care about is getting people to feel comfortable. So an image of a real human being helps with that, especially if they look approachable. 
and then a contact form so people can actually get in touch with them like that so I wouldn't worry about it that's good there like that we've got the keyword in the location in there wouldn't worry about EXIF data I've not seen it make a real difference myself so I wouldn't worry about it um, the next thing we want to do as we come down here is we want to put a map in of the area and the reason we want to do that so again I've never personally found that it helps in terms of ranking a page when people talk about relevancy and things like that uh, to do that you just search for the place go to share embed a map grab that copy HTML come back over here so I've never actually found that that actually helps in terms of ranking but the reason why I do this is because if we go to width 100% and then just make the height a little bit smaller so maybe 350 and then update the reason I do this is because Google knows whenever somebody visits a page in Chrome so if somebody's on Google Chrome they know that you visited it right but if you're in Firefox they don't know and Google use that as a ranking factor how many people have visited a page so if your page gets a bunch of views they will rank you higher now if you have this map in here and they're on Firefox this is loading a Google entity on the page and so Google know that someone has, has visited this page because it's loaded this um, resource right here so it helps this helps trigger to Google that somebody's hit it and if they've had a good uh, long session duration here or something then that can help you uh, to rank higher so that's why I put the maps in there for that local relevancy stuff as well um, so as you can see with that there it's sort of looking a bit rubbish so I can just put in here style equals margin top 20 pixels uh, did it crash at the bottom or something yeah a little bit and then margin bottom 20 pixels update that and then that should look a little bit nicer there we go and that's pretty much that page done so now what we want to do is we want to create a meta description for this to help with the click-through rate so this doesn't help you directly rank higher but it will help you uh, get more clicks which will help you rank higher if so it's indirectly going to help so what you actually want to do and I say this was a long time ago I built this one so I'm not sure if I've done this or not here um, but you want to create a template basically okay it looks like I might have done no I didn't you want to create a template with these so that you can just reuse them over and over again and so a good way to do that is to just search for this see what number one is saying uh, they haven't got anything specific here so let's do Ontario HVAC okay nothing really amazing here so let's make our own one I'll pause it while I make it okay so this would work quite well so we've got having issues with your air conditioning or furnace looking for a HVAC company in Greeley Ontario get it resolved faster Melange heating and air conditioning contact now for free quote so breaking this down we've got we're identifying the problem we're getting in our location name right here and some keywords and then we're saying that we act fast which is what people want they want whenever it's anything like this any sort of service they want a quick thing to happen and then we've got a clear call to action at the end right here so that would be good and then going forward you would just go ahead and replace Greeley with whatever the location is so that's that one done so we can update that so now we've got our image in here our unique content we've got a link with the town name in it back to the home page to create that relevancy on map so that it's definitely trigger enough to Google every time this page loads all of the services we offer so that we this is this is also important for ranking because we need to show Google what this is about because if our title tag and h1 tags are talking about HVAC and air conditioning but our body content is talking about something different it won't ever rank we got to show these these are called LSI keywords so these are like things that are similar to it and it's really important that we get these in here this is going to be our links in a moment but just so you know and then yeah we're linking to our Google my business now the last thing and this one's optional but what some people advise you do I've never found this helps as such but you could internally link this name of Greeley to like the local council's website or something um, the idea is that if you link to an authoritative source locally it will help you rank I, I say not found that that really matters but that's what a lot of people believe if you just go ahead and do the things I've showed in this page I think you're going to be good so um, that's that so now we've built this page out uh, what we want to do now is actually build out the deeper pages so let's do um, 
air conditioning, or let's do furnace insulation because it's coming up to winter time out there right now. Um, so this page is now done. All we need to do, go in, create a new page, and we're just gonna follow exactly the same process again. So I've already done the keyword research on this. You don't even really need to because it's pretty obvious, but I'm gonna just uh, grab it from this page right here, the furnace installation page, and take my, okay, so it doesn't look like it was anything amazing in terms of the different keywords that was found when I've done this. Uh, uh, okay, so it's just furnace installation. So let's just create this. So um, installation Greeley Ontario. The next thing we want to do is go to. Okay, so if we publish this for now, copy that part, close that, go to permalink change that to just furnace insulation it will sort out the capitals on its own go to page attributes and go to parent and then we want to look for our service page so greedy right there and then if we hit update here now our URL should be service area greedy furnace insulation so that's very very clean that's exactly what we want uh, so now we basically just need to go ahead and do the exact same thing again so we already know that we need to add the map we already know that we need to um, link to Google my business and the home page with the keyword so it's it's not necessarily worth me taking you through every single step of this again but what I will show you is in here now now that we have this page is we want to copy this go to this page that we just created the, the main Greeley location page and then we want to actually make this a link so if we go down to here so furnace installation link this to that page go ahead click on that and then click update now here when we go through we'll see this link and if we click on this it will take us through the point of that is we want to create um, page authority so if one page the home page of your website is always going to have the most authority and the pages that that links out to are usually going to have more so the more links a page has got the more authority it's going to have so we want to internally link to increase the page authority um, so this page linking to this page is going to help this page rank and then the other thing is we want to actually make sure that we're linking to that original one to start this whole thing off so when we come in here now we want to make sure that we've got a link to the Greeley page in here wherever it says it there and then hit update so this is really important also for indexing as well another way you can do this uh, as I showed in a previous video I believe is you can actually have like a hidden menu uh, let me try and find the blog post on a second you can have a hidden menu in the footer that can internally link to these I do this for some clients it works really well uh, but this is also optional. What I've showed so far will be enough for you to get local traffic coming in already. Uh, must have been a long time ago I've done that. Okay, must have just been a YouTube video. I'll stick it in the description. Um, but yeah, you could have like a down here little icon and you click on it and it opens it out. But right now what I've done is the footer on every single page links to service area, which is the page one right now. And then this internally links through to all the locations. So then you've got this link to Greeley, which is the one we just built out together. And then that's got the link through to the furnace installation Greeley page, um, which is going to have a bunch of content and, you know, the map and the image and the meta description and all that sort of stuff and basically when you're done all you want to do is just make sure that this gets indexed so search console's not working right now because Google have got some issues but submit these pages to search console and it's quite funny because what you'll find is these will do nothing for absolutely ages they won't rank at all um, so actually it's better off building out pages for the opposite season to what you're coming up to because it usually takes about six months but then once they do actually get ranked they will stay ranked and they will often bring in traffic for years um, and really good traffic as well so hopefully you found this video helpful there's not really much more to location pages I can think of to teach the only other thing I suppose is worth saying is that if you want to build links to these the safest way to do that is through press releases that's the way that I often do it so create a press release link to these pages so I would actually link just to the main greedy page right here that's how I would do it um, and also you can get away with doing this with duplicate content as I may have said earlier but if you do do that you're not going to have as much of a chance of ranking as the person who's got 
unique content so you're better off getting the most out of your efforts and putting these pages together like that so hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like subscribe to the channel for more and i will see you in the next one